Okay, in this video we want to look at the unit step function. So it's a very important piecewise function defined as follows. So we'll call it u of t. So it's zero for t less than zero and it's one for t bigger than or equal to zero. So it has this nice graph. So look, it looks like a single step. And so uh, I also want to point out that commonly um, we look at it shifted as follows, so u of t minus tau. And so notice that's going to be equal to 0 if t is less than tau and 1 if t is bigger than or equal to tau. And that's going to shift this step to the right tau units. And um, there are some nice applications of this. especially towards uh, solving differential equations with the Laplace transforms. But uh, let's look at one for rewriting piecewise functions. So let's say we take this function f of t, and let's say it's defined as follows. So let's say it's defined as a function g of t if uh, t is less than some number tau. And let's say it's defined as a function um, h of t if t is bigger than or equal to some function tau. Well, notice we can rewrite that as follows. So we can rewrite that as g of t. Good. So notice that's going to be good all the way up until tau. But now we can uh, multiply the unit step function that has been shifted by tau units times h of t minus g of t. So let's see why that works. So notice if we are less than tau, this unit step function is zero, so we get just get g of t. But now let's say that we are bigger than or equal to tau. So we're going to get g of t plus this unit step function is going to be one, and then we have h of t minus g of t, the g of t is canceled, and then we're good to go and we just have h of t, which is how this piecewise function is defined. Okay, good. So now the next thing I want to do is clean up this board and then we're going to look at uh, the Laplace transformation of the unit step function and the unit step function multiplied by some other function. Okay, so here we're going to look at the Laplace transformation of this unit step function shifted to the right by tau units times a function of g, and we're going to show that's equal to e to the minus s tau, and then the Laplace transformation of the original function evaluated at t plus tau. So we're going to do this directly from the definition of the Laplace transformation. So we'll take this Laplace transform of u t minus tau times g of t, and we'll write that as the integral from 0 to infinity of u t minus tau times g of t e to the minus s t dt. And recall that uh, this unit step function is defined in a piecewise way and something really important is happening at tau. So we'll split up the integral at that point. So we can write this as the integral from 0 to tau of u of t minus tau g of t e to the minus s t dt plus the integral from tau to infinity of u of t minus tau g of t e to the minus s t dt. Okay, great. And now, uh, recall that in the region from 0 to tau, this unit step function is 0. And then in the, in the region from tau, equals, from tau to infinity, this unit step function is 1. So that allows uh, this integral to collapse to the following. So we have the integral from tau to infinity of g of t e to the minus s t dt. Okay, great. So now what we want to do is do a slight change of variables in order to make this integral start at zero. And so we'll do the following change of variables uh, to make that happen. So let's say t equals um, u plus tau. So now notice that means dt equals du. Good. And uh, let's see what happens when t 
equals tau, that means that u equals zero, and when t equals infinity, I won't write this down, then u also equals infinity. So uh, that's important to do that to the bounds of integration because notice that this is a t number, and since we're doing a change of variables into uh, these, this u variable, uh, we're gonna need to rewrite this integral where these are u numbers as the bounds of integration. So notice this is gonna give us the integral from zero to to infinity and like I said this is a u number good and now uh, we can rewrite t as u plus tau so u plus tau and now we can rewrite this e to the minus st as e to the minus um, u plus tau times s um, and then we have du okay great but now notice, we can uh, take a tau times s um, in that exponential out of the integral because it's a constant with respect to integration, and that gives us e to the minus s tau, and then the integral from zero to infinity of g of u plus tau, and then e uh, to the minus u um, s du, but that, that's exactly what we want. That is equal to e to the minus s tau and then the Laplace transformation of g of t plus tau. Okay, great. So now what we want to do from here, I want to erase this um, and then we'll look at a corollary to this proposition and uh, an example or two. Okay, so a very simple corollary to this is what if the function g is the function 1? And notice in this case, we'll get the Laplace transformation of just this unit step function is equal to e to the minus s tau. So that's pretty simple. Now let's look at a basic example as well. So let's do the Laplace transformation of u of t minus tau times maybe the function t. So notice that's going to give us... <coughs> e to the minus s tau, and then the Laplace transformation of t plus tau. Good. But uh, notice that that's going to be e to the minus s tau, and now since the Laplace transformation is a linear operator, we can write this as 1 over s squared plus 1 over s. The Laplace transformation of T and then the Laplace transformation of tau, and tau is a constant, so we get tau over s for that. And notice here I've used this uh, first line of this chart. Okay, so good, that's good for this video.